Target obsessed? Maybe. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's, what's up? up? In today's video, guys, I had uh -huh. another shopping addiction at Target. <laughs> Thumbnail. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Today I basically wanted to try another brand, uh, a full face of LA Girl. Now, I know you guys know what LA Girl is. Uh, their LA Girl Pro Concealer is Life, Life Goals. Goal. Whoa. Yeah, get into it. If you guys want to watch that, definitely stay tuned. Also, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's, Let's get, get into it. it. So to start off today, I think since my lips are so damn crusty, I'm gonna start off with the LA Girl Sweet Lip Scrub. This is my first time trying this. So cute. So I've been literally, guys, literally for the life of me, always, always, always wanting to get a lip scrub, never got one, and today was the day. Today was that day. To lip scrub. Doesn't feel like it has a scrub to it. It just feels like a bomb. Maybe I have to like dig my finger in there. As you like move the product around, you get some exfoliating crystals, but that's so weird. Make sure you really get the lips uh -huh. nice and scrubbed. And the more blood flow you have to the lips, the juicier they're gonna be. Juicy, juicy. Fun, Fun fact. fact. And next to moisturize my lips, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Ha, what is this? Holographic? Holo. Holographic gloss topper. And this one is in shade Brilliant, I guess you could say. It says Brilliant. Talented, brilliant. 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 Yeah. So let's crack this thing open. There we go. So that definitely is holographic. Holla. Whoa. All right. I feel like that combo with the scrub and the hal. The hal. This holographic lip gloss is everything. <laughs> Moving on. All right, guys, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl. What is this? The Pro Prep HD Moisture Nourishing Face Primer. I love primers that moisturize, especially my La Mercier Hydrating Primer. So I'm trying to see if this is anything like it. So. Okay, this is cute. This is like a nice little pinpoint applicator, I guess you could say. Oh wow. Just from the texture alone, this literally feels like the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer, but it has a little bit more of a, I don't know, like a drier texture to it, but let's see. I mean, doesn't seem like I need a lot. So I'm gonna use a very little amount. Very hydrating, but it seems like it's, um, Kind of like snatching the skin up like Which I like. I love hydration and I love to be snatched up. Can't complain. Moving on. So today as my foundation, since my local Target didn't have any shades past medium beige. Medium beige? I'm gonna go in with the two LA Girl Pro concealers for my face base today. One for concealer and one for my face. So I think I'm gonna go in with cool tan for my face and I think under my eyes I'm gonna go in with light tan. So hopefully that works out. It seems like it will. But I'm not too sure. This reminds me of when I was terrified to use foundation, guys, and I would just use concealer all over my face because I knew for sure, no matter what, it, it would work. work. For the base, we're gonna start off with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan. Squeeze this up a little bit. It kinda sounds like a fart. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics 113 brush. Ooh, that looks really nice, guys. And I don't know why I have a shine. Why not? I have no idea. Why not? Maybe that's the primer? Huh. Definitely, Definitely not returning, returning back. back. Wow. Really, really beautiful. beautiful. Let's move on to concealer. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in light tan. I'm gonna take a little bit of this under the eyes and I'm gonna use a stippling brush. I don't remember the name, but any stippling brush will do. <laughs> I definitely squoze a little too, too much, much, but whatever. Perfect. <laughs> let's start blending this out and let's see uh -huh. what happens. Five minutes later. All right, I guess we're going for full, full coverage because I did not mean to put this much, but... Whatever. Let's set this down and move, move on. on. So the next step is very, very important, important, especially during the summer when your face is hot, hot and everything could get possibly melted. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Powder HD High Definition well, that's what HD is. Setting Powder in Banana Yellow. And I've been so curious to try this, guys. This is so perfect that it comes with one of these little sponge things or things because I'm actually gonna use this. I cannot find my beauty blender still. still. 
open this up. How? How do you open this up? Wow. It's not even like a tag on here. Oh, there is. Very nice. Very nice. I'm not gonna use like too much, just a little bit, and you can really see the yellow tint. So this is gonna be <laughs> amazing. Hopefully. First impressions? Looks really smooth. This side has no powder, this side has powder. Hmm. Very impressed. And what I like about this powder, guys, it's really fine. It's really light. It doesn't look like anything on the face. Perfect. So while we have this nice and set and laid down, we're gonna move on to bronzing, contouring, blush, highlight, all, all the, the good stuff. stuff. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Blushed Babe Blush Palette. It looks beautiful. Um. So this is the... That was the Corona Protection. This is the palette here. I thought this was really beautiful to play around with. I was gonna try to use this shade as more of like a bronzer and maybe play around with these two blush shades. You know, you know. I thought this had a highlighter in it. I don't know why in the store I thought it had a highlighter, but I guess I was just losing, losing my, my mind. mind. All right guys, so first things first, I'm gonna go in with this bronzy shade. Ooh. That, that really surprised me because I was not expecting. I was not expecting that. So seriously, something just like, woo, got in my eye. Whoa. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Ooh. Whatever. After the bronzer shade, we move into this RNG blushy shade that has that shimmer in it. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. Okay. Add some sunburn. As always. So now it is time to remove this bait. I'm a little nervous because I don't want it to stay this bright. I'm hoping it tones itself down. If it doesn't, let's hope. Oh my, my brush was wet. What? No! I'm gonna try to go in with the other brush and see if I could fix it. What? I, I probably can't. Oh my, no. I knew this was looking too nice. I knew it had to get messed up. I knew it. I, I knew, knew it. it. But I'm gonna try to touch it up. Things are gonna happen. You just have to roll with the punches. Like, you know? It's okay. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Shady Slim it's in the shade Darkest Brown. Loving this. Has a nice fine tip you guys already know, especially in my last video that I uh, appreciate. A brow pencil that has a fine tip because you could really take your time and fill in areas that you wanna fill in and, and don't fill in areas that you don't, don't wanna fill, fill in. in. Mm, this feels like, I don't know, it's more of like a drier pencil. It makes me feel like I'm using like a wooden sharpenable brow pencil. pencil. It's not horrible, but it's not like, oh wow, I need to like go get this again. Like if this runs out, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Brow pencil. <laughs> Not really. That's as good as it's gonna get with this brow pencil. It's very dry. It pulls on your hair. It doesn't glide over your hairs. It just moving on. All right, guys. And last but not least, the, the most, the, the best. best. I'm gonna try the LA Girl Shimmer Spray, finishing spray for your face and body. I'm so excited because this has like little shimmers in it. So beautiful. The little shimmers cannot be ignored. There we go. Look at that. Look at that hack. Shake this up. Looks like it gave a little bit more glow than this side. And it smells like a really, really, really fragrance. Huda Beauty. Beauty. I don't know. Something that my mom would use, like Rihanna Crush or something. Let's try a little bit on the body. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa guys. guys. So far, really liking this product. Will I keep it? Probably not. My face breaks out with fragrance. So guys, a big warning. If you're very sensitive to fragrance like me, don't, don't do it. it. All right, guys, and this is the finished look. I really love, love, love how this look came out. There were some hit and misses. Obviously, you know. Brow pencil free move was definitely a no-go. No the blush palette is beautiful. beautiful. I think I definitely will recommend that and hold on to that. The under eye setting powder, it was, it okay, was okay. But everything else, guys, beautiful. The primer was beautiful. beautiful. The lip scrub was beautiful. beautiful. The gloss topper was beautiful. beautiful. Brow pencil, no. And yeah, no, no. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you did like this content, definitely let me know down below. Also, so please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.